Prince William and Queen Camilla have a lot to overcome, according to a royal insider. Even though Prince William and his stepmother, Queen Camilla, still have a lot to overcome, they seem to have come a long way because of one important royal. The globe has been ablaze with stories of how Prince William and Camilla Parker Bowles' love blossomed after their 1998 first meeting. William's father, King Charles, had introduced them while on holiday from Eton. William first saw the woman who would eventually become his stepmother at Clarence House when he was just 17 years old and had returned home for the weekend from an affluent boarding school. Author of The King, The Life of Charles Ayoi and Royal Specialist Christopher Anderson told us weekly that the now queen consort was shaking like a leaf. She mentioned that she needed a gin and tonic as soon as William left. William and his younger brother Harry had previously referred to Camilla as the other woman until their official encounter because his father had an affair with her while he was married to Princess Diana, and Camilla herself had been married to ex-Andrew Parker Bowles. Charles and Camilla were free to continue their long-term relationship publicly after their divorces and the Princess of Wales' untimely death in August 1997. Eventually, they announced to the world that they were an official couple. The chemistry between Camilla, 77, and William, 42, has softened over the years, but their relationship has remained complex at best since that fateful meeting. It was disclosed earlier this summer that William had decided to fire Annabel Elliot, Camilla's sister, from the Duchy of Cornwall after she had worked there for almost 20 years as Charles' principal interior designer. Anderson clarifies that although this choice might have created some conflict within the family, there was never a snub. He explained that it was just a inevitable business choice, since William wants his own team in there. Having said that, given that Princess Kate and King Charles have both received cancer diagnoses and are undergoing treatment, Camilla and William have made considerable strides in recent months. A Parker Bowles family member later stated, William has warmed up to Camilla over time. The two now have a familial relationship. The source said, there's a lot to overcome. William and Harry harbored mistrust and animosity toward Camilla due to their unwavering commitment to their mother. They never felt secure enough to really open out to her. But since his brother Prince Harry left the royal family in 2020, William has gone a long way toward mending his fences with his stepmother. The person continued, it brought them closer, since William and Kate didn't want to become embroiled in any more drama. The same source actually claims that since Kate was accepting of Camilla long before others in the royal family, it was her attempts to mend fences that contributed to the two parties' reconciliation. The Queen Consort, like Kate, is keeping it real, and the Prince and Princess of Wales value Camilla's groundedness and the normalcy she instills in King Charles. But royal expert Anderson disagreed, even going so far as to say that the Queen Consort was originally opposed to William and Kate dating because she was kind of a snob and didn't believe Kate belonged in the nobility. Of course, history has since shown that such an assumption was incorrect. Thirteen years after William and Kate's initial marriage in 2011, they are still happily married and the proud parents of three children. William and Camilla have managed to find a happy medium ground where they can be involved in one another's life for the benefit of those closest to them, despite a few minor complaints. The insider said, William is happy if his dad is happy 